Welcome back to the City Center, everyone. I am Josh. Today I got the little Ryobi harvest bag. You can see all these beautiful sunflowers behind me. You know what day it is. We are down at the community garden doing a little bit of harvesting. I ended up planting a whole bunch of these and I was dying to see if I could actually get one. This right here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is the Velvet Queen Sunflower. And it's just a really, really beautiful looking sunflower. Really like the uh, all around dark color on it. Very cool. So I gotta tell you guys, as good as the garden still looks right now, it got a lot of <laughs> unattention uh, the past little bit of time here. So things got a little bit crazy. We had like birthdays, the wife had her birthday the other day. Everett's birthday, it's coming up real soon. Wedding anniversaries, the wife and I had our six year anniversary just the other day. Uh, so we've been really just busy and we're also getting ready for homeschooling slash virtual and somewhat school for E. So we got a lot of stuff going on and I haven't been down here in almost three weeks. It's been two and a half weeks, two weeks, something like that. So it's been a little bit of time. I'm expecting to have a little bit of crazy zucchini stuff and I know there's definitely some spaghetti squash that needs to be harvested just because it's definitely beyond its time. It was already sort of there last time we were here. And I'm just gonna check the state of things. What I'm gonna do is I got some fall plants going at the house. Uh, so hopefully when the fall stuff starts popping up, come out here, we'll start doing some transplanting and we'll get this place rocking for a fall garden. So you can see right here that spaghetti squash vine died, but they uh, ripened up right here on the vine. There's one, two, three, four, four good sized ones. We got a whole bunch of tomatoes in there. Look at that over here. Load it up. With that many red tomatoes, I think I'll be able to can some tomato soup, which is one of the things the kids absolutely loved. So that is definitely a plus. What's in there? What's in there, buddy? What is that? A yellow squash? Uh, uh, okay. a yellow squash. Another one? It's yellow squash. A yellow squash. A yellow squash. It's a yellow squash, not a yellow squat, Everett. Got a few of these little sugar baby watermelons. If you guys follow us on Facebook or Instagram, I posted a picture of it. And we're saving seeds out of all of these. I'm really excited to be able to give seeds from these in our seed swap that's going to be coming up in the fall. We do it every year. <laughs> oh, you got it. All right. Hello surprises. I just got a hello surprise. Okay, that's enough. Cool. They don't want to hear your song again. Crazy butt, get over here. Mo, my, 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 my. Right, ah! Go see, go see, sissy. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, <come> <laughs> but these little sugar baby watermelons get about this big, kind of like a softball, kind of between a softball and a baseball. And they are perfect for urban environments, very easy to grow on a trellis. I highly recommend them, and they're really sweet. Especially these ones have been sitting on the vine a little bit. You can see a little bit of vining in them. Oh no. <laughs> but we're going to pick all of these and we're going to save a ton of these seeds and I'm going to be sending them out all winter long for you guys. Our green beans went super crazy since the last time we were here. This plant is just completely, completely full of them. You want to try this? You take a bite. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> 
you find yourself idle or stagnant. It's important that you move from place to place. But if your knees start buckling, your stomach starts rustling, your ankles all swell. Oh, hell, well, I've been like that too. Go put it in the bag. And here's what I do. Yeah. Break it down to the only morning time. I give you tomato mountain. Look at how beautiful these eggplants are. I mean, they come from a very pretty flower. Probably one of my top three flowers from the uh, vegetable garden. But look at just uh, the amazing purple color that these have. So pretty. Food is art, guys. Look at that. You are not gonna find a better purple than that. So another day picking a handful of shishito peppers. I'm saving a lot of these seeds too. Uh, I am just impressed with how prolific this uh, pepper plant is. I mean, one plant here I've probably gotten, shoot man, it's been like five pounds of peppers. It's been insane. Ugh. Shishito peppers are one of the biggest things in my new little stir fry that I make up for lunch. So I cook uh, some yellow squash, onion, peppers, some Italian sausage, and uh, yeah, that's kind of it. If I got a couple of little things, I might throw it in there. But I mix all that, I just cook it all up, and it makes a great thing for me to just pack for my lunch every day of the week. I go in, microwave it for lunch, perfect. Really, really enjoy that little dish. Got a big old handful of jalapenos. I'm really the only one that likes them, but this spices up a lot of good dishes. You got a pepper. <laughs> so we got another great harvest here. We got some yellow squash. Some we found a cucumber, we got some zucchini, a lot of eggplant, a lot of peppers, some green beans, and of course those sugar baby watermelons. Yeah. And there's some spaghetti squash, but I am out of room in this bag already because I got to throw the tomatoes in there. So, <laughs> I have to come back after work and pick those up. You are so excited. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> you picked a little baby eggplant, didn't you? Oh, they're so cute. All right, let's go put this in the cart and you ready to go back to the wagon and get going? Yeah. All right, let's go. We begin. What do you got? Seven. Oh, we're thinking these are hazelnuts. So tell us if they're hazelnuts or not. I'm sure, I'm sure we got a few nut experts out there. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Why are there weights up there? We out of space in the wagon? That's not good news because we got a lot of stuff. We need a trailer. <laughs> we need a trailer. Or one of you guys needs to walk. <laughs> not an option. Not an option. Trailer is the only option. <laughs> All right, harvest in the books. Look at this. We got tomatoes in the cup holder. We got Batman Garden some tomatoes. And we are loaded up with our Ryobi harvest bag. On the wagon, right? We harvest bag. I almost need a bigger one or a second one or a kid to walk. I'm told that won't happen though. I was trying to load them up and look, I got a squished tomato, which. Let me go mess. Actually, pretty decent. This is that better boy that I always see the stivers talking about. So I picked them up. That is pretty decent. Nothing like a good fresh garden tomato before I pull all these kids home. Pull all these kids home. Alright. You guys say bye. 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 Happy birthday. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Birthday. Everett's birthday is coming soon. It's true. Alright. Remember guys, be bold, grow bold, and as always, we'll see you in that next video. Bye! Bye! I got goosebumps. It's my ass.
Happy birthday, it's Oscar's birthday. No, it's not. It's not Oscar's birthday.